Everything is adapting, changing, evolving constantly in response to the environment biota it interacts with. This is what has given rise to variance and diversity in this biological world. To survive, you must adapt. Survival of the fittest. Natural selection. The very heart of Darwin's idea that changed how we understand the world we live in. The forces that drive natural selection are complex, and do not only involve the physical forces such as fire and flood, but biological interactions such as sex, symbiosis, and niche filling. Evolution doesn't stop when things get perfectly adapted to their environment. Evolution is a race. To quote the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland, you have to run as fast as you can to stay in the same place. The evidence is everywhere. From the similarities in animal anatomy, fossil records and the scientific study of rapidly adapting species, it is clearly evident that evolution is true and constant. The question now, however, is what will survive in this rapidly changing environment, and how will we survive in this world which we have modified over such a short time span? Heritability, passing on genes, is the greatest survival objective of all living beings. Sex generates variability of offspring. That diversity of variation improves a species' chances of survival in a challenging environment. Cooperation and teamwork are equally as important and responsible for the world's biodiversity. The arms race between predator and prey is another driving force of evolution. As the prey evolves better camouflage, eyesight, hearing or smell in order to avoid the predator, so too the predator becomes faster, quieter, more clever and dynamic in order to catch the prey. In some animals, we can see distinct adaptions in foraging appendages, such as in the bills of birds. The duck has evolved a flattened, broad bill for scooping and sieving material from the muddy bottom. These animals show special evolutionary adaptions to their specific foraging niche. Selective pressures are constant and always changing. The evidence of evolution is all around us. We just have to look in the right places. The fossil evidence reveals the ancestors of today's animals and shows transitional forms. These transitional forms may be as complex as the bear-like ancestor of seals with its transition to swimming in the sea, or as simple as the gradual modification and reduction in the lizard jaw that became ear bones which allow mammals to hear as they do today. All creatures on land are descended from a common ancestor. They are all tetrapods. This basic pattern began as far back as 400 million years ago. Each of these limbs reveal another pattern. Pentadactyly. The five-digit limb is found throughout many animals, terrestrial and aquatic. Evolutionary evidence of pattern and change is not only found in body structure, but is also evident in behavior and simple coloration. In this complex world, the moment a species stops evolving in response to the challenges and threats it faces, it is doomed. The Earth environment is changing at an alarming rate. We are currently experiencing one of the largest extinction events in the history of the Earth, and we are the cause of it. A rapidly changing climate and biogeography will cause less adaptive species to die out, while those that are more generalized and more adaptive will radiate to fill new niches. Evolution has worked in every single organism on Earth, through chance coincidences, specific adaptions and chosen opportunities. It is now, as much as ever, the survival of the fittest.